Gordon from the West Country's weatherman, Craig Rich. Hello, and tonight that rich has the flavour of the farmyard about it. Coming up in a moment, the sophisticated tones of the cowshed cleaners. Lenny Windsor, well known for his muck spreading in the topless area, but to add a little class, but, but to add a little class to the proceedings, the lovely voice of Anika. They're all in, that's rich. And welcome to a rather agricultural version of that. Do you, do you mind? Do you mind? Oh, sorry, there's a bit of a stench in here. But actually, actually, now you're here, you can give me a hand. Can you get a hold of that? And can you get a hold of this end here? Look. You have a look at that uh, at home. Do you see what it says? Devon Young. Hold it steady, will you? I don't know who hires these people. Devon Young Farmers Do It Outdoors. Now. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, oh, all right. Yeah, all right. Now, I've often wondered, and I expect you have as well, what it is that young farmers do outdoors, indeed, what they do in their wellies, as you've often seen on a car. Yeah, enough, enough. <laughs> well, tonight I've got the ideal opportunity to find out because our audience is full of young farmers from Devon. Now, um, you, ma'am, perhaps you can tell me what it is that uh, young farmers do outdoors, could you? Well, uh, <laughs> just going to think about it. Well, we'll leave it to the imagination, shall we? <laughs> yes, and you might have seen it. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Yes, yes, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. But look, look, I do want to be serious for a moment, chaps, just for a moment, because uh, I'd like to know what, in fact, Young Farmers Clubs are all about and uh, what the objectives are. Perhaps, Mum, you could tell me what that is. Well, originally they were started as a calf rearing club in 1932, but our motto is good farmers, good countrymen, good citizens. And we're a group of young people that try to achieve this through educational and social activities. So you've been going for 50 years. This is your, your, right, your 50 yes. years half century. Well, yes. that's pretty good then. So there's quite an educational side yes, to it. Sir, but yes. also you've got the social side uh, as well, haven't you? That's right, yes. I tell you what, though. Um, I think the old young farmers, you know, this, this tag, young farmers, it's a bit like my wife's young wives. You know, there's a pretty wide license to the term <laughs> young, isn't there? Now, come on, what's the maximum age? Well, the official age for competing in competitions is 26. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I tell you what, there are a few here <laughs> under <laughs> false pretenses, aren't there, sir? Anyway, thanks very much for telling us what uh, young farmers do outdoors and in, in their wellies as, as well. But uh, I think it would be rather nice now if we could really get into the rural mood with a beautiful song from Anika. It's called To Wit, To Woo. Quite a hoot. Anika.
absolutely beautiful. In sharp contrast to what we've got coming up later in the programme, I can tell you. This, this <laughs> lot back there. All right, all right, settle down, settle down. Well, do you know, I've always thought that dairy farm is a pretty easy occupation, really, isn't it? No. Of course it is. Well, I certainly do, because I spent two years on a farm down in Cornwall. In fact, it was near Pencreaver, down on the Battens farm there. And ever since then, I've always thought I've had a bit of a way with animals. So when I saw... Yes, all right. You be quiet back then. That, that's a fact. And when I saw that my old friend James Robertson had just brought out a new paperback called any fool can be a dairy farmer well my producer decided to put me to the test because he's often heard me talk about my experiences on that farm down there in cornwall so off we went to a dairy farm at rackenford in devon to meet james and we arrived early just as the countryside and the wildlife was waking up <laughs> James. Good morning, Craig. What a pong. Yeah, it's a uh, cow. If it goes with farms, you know, cows do the sort of thing. Is that what we're standing in? Yes, it's very good. Your boots are all right, I hope. Well, oh, I really? think I'm older than it just now. <laughs> don't it's, uh... worry. It's quite very healthy stuff. Very natural. What are we going to do then, James? We're it's, going uh... to meet Clarissa, the cow. Clarissa? This yeah. is Clarissa. That's right. That's right. Uh, Object she... number one, milking the cow. But is it friendly? I mean, can I pat it in that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She's a lovely animal. Hello, Clarissa. Ah, 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 ah. See, you gently stroke her and she'll grow to love you dearly. She seems a bit shy. Well, everyone yeah. is meeting a star like you, Craig, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> well then, James, where's right. the, where's the, which, oh, it's the other end, isn't That's it? right, back end. We move around to the back end and you try and get milk out of it. Very simple. That's pretty process. easy. You just squeeze the, squeeze the, the, I'll do. I don't, the tips, I don't want to use I beg your pardon. The, the oh, no, not, oh, it's a late night programme, we're all right. Craig, <laughs> purpose of exercise, testing four milk from cow's udder. Well, this is... Do I have to get in the, in the back here, James? That's so right. And you gently run your hand down the udder, gently run the hand down the udder. Be careful of what comes out from below the tail. This, this thing here, that's right, down to the teeth, and yeah. gently tweak to get the milk out to make sure it's all right. Oh, there we are. How's that? Yes, it doesn't look bad. It's easy, very look, Craig. It's very good. Easy. You're a natural... Oh, stop. Oh, clearly a natural that. farmer. Clearly a natural farmer. Beautiful. Now, you have to make sure it hasn't got clots in, because then it shows it's clean, fresh, pure milk, as you're supposed to supply. So I'm quite sure it's absolutely pure milk. How is that? That's beautiful. Oh, wonderful. What a spurt. Superb. <laughs> oh, she jumped. She won't kick me, When she? the tail comes out, you need to start moving hey. quickly. Right, Craig, that was an easy one. This is just as easy. Count the cow's teeth, see how old well, she is. Count the teeth. Look, one lovely molar's there. Right, see you do that. Very easy. What more would you want? Okay. It, it doesn't bite this thing, does it? Not often, no, no. Yeah. Don't that bit. Come on, open. That's it. Good girl. One, two. Right. Come on, old girl. That's not very nice, is it? That's not bad. That's not bad. She's not behaving as well as she might. That's not bad. Count the top teeth as well, while you're Barbara Woodhouse blows up their noses. Shall I do that? <laughs> Count the top teeth, here. she got no top teeth. Oh, dear, dear. There's no... Don't they have teeth in the top? No, well, they use the tongue to pull the grass off against it. We don't bite. I'll blow up her nose again. See. She's a it very works. obliging cow. It works, like James. Going this to She's very obliging. Now Barbara Woodhouse, she's got it right now. Isn't she nice? Good old Clarissa. Give her a nice Lovely. big kiss and then let her go. Well, go not on. on the nose. He's a lovely girl. Ah, Clarissa. <laughs> lovely she was. But, uh, do you know, as you can see from that film, I found dairy farming pretty easy, really. It is pretty easy stuff. But, no, later in the programme, you can see how I got on down on a pig farm. And talking of pigs, perhaps I can introduce you to our four philosophers of the farmyard, the cow shed cleaners. Gentlemen. Uh, 
Hello, uh, I'm Gaffer. And, 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 and I'm Scarecrow. And I'm Aced. <laughs> and I be Wurzel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> here, we, we, we're the cow shed cleaners. We're the only West Country group what smells like one. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's nice to see there's a lot of young farmers here tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here, Gaffer. Yeah. Your missus was a young farmer, wasn't she? Oh, her was, yeah. Oh. Her's all liberated now, you know. Huh? Oh, her. Her, 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 her bra last week. Oh, her, her bra? Yeah, oh. her, her was ironing it, see? <laughs> no. Well, I said to her, I said, I don't know why you bother to iron it anyway. you got nothing to put in it. <laughs> she said, well, I ironed your pants, don't I? Or something. <laughs> My, my new, her, 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 no, 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 her is a lovely cook, my Mrs. Owen, and I wrote a song about her, it's all about Gertie's dumplings. Yeah. What's that got to do with her cooking? Well, that, actually, they do get in the way a bit when her's making her stew. <laughs> oh, I love the taste of our own Gertie's dumplings. They're big and soft and free, now fill the pan. Oh, I just can't wait to taste of Gertie's dumplings. They must be the biggest in the land. When I'm working in the fields, I sure get hungry. Oh, ah? Me belly starts to twitch and jump about. Oh, oh. Some people think so I'm mad. They don't know I'm glad. Cause I'm sure that if I'm late, she'll keep on warming on the plate. Oh, I love the taste of our old dirty stumpling. They're big and soft and free, I'll fill the pan. Oh, I just can't wait to taste old Gertie's dumplings. They must be the biggest in the land. Now, the other day, you're sent I to the butchers. What for? To get some beef for her to make a stew. Oh, I see. He didn't have to give a roar when he knew what was for. When I told him about her dumplings, he said he already knew. Oh, oh I love the taste of our old Gertie's dumplings. There it is, soft and free, now fill the pan. Oh, I just can't wait to taste the Gertie's dumplings. They must be the biggest in the land. Now people come from miles around to see them. Oh, look at that! There's some that says they can't believe their eyes. <laughs> they always try and touch them. One man even pinch one. I wouldn't have even known but for the bulging of his eyes. Oh, I love the taste of our old Gertie's dumplings. They're beginning something free to fill the pan. Oh, I just can't wait to taste old Gertie's dumplings. They must be the biggest in the land. Her loves to show them off to all the men folk. Oh. Their wives would be like hell if they didn't know. Cause though their different sizes, we're sure that they win prizes if us got her to display them in the Dem County show. Oh, I love the taste of our old girlies dumpling. They're big and soft and bring a fill the pan. Oh, I just can't wait to taste of girlies dumpling. They must be the biggest in the land. Oh, I just can't wait to taste the Gertie's dumplings. They must be the biggest in the land. Wow. And you can hear another farmyard fantasy from the cow shed cleaners later in the programme. Actually, the lads all come from Tiverton. I suppose there's plenty of cow sheds to clean out up there, isn't there? Wow. Well, there you, yeah, well it's a pity my old muck spreading mate Lenny Windsor from Topless hasn't arrived yet, because I think his humour would just about fit in with yours. What dirty you <laughs> 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 all, right. all right, well, as I, said, as I said a little bit earlier, I found dairy farming very easy. In fact, it was quite a double. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Now for pigs, just as easy. Well, so I thought. After all, they, they may stink a bit, mightn't they? But, um, you know, they're really quite friendly, aren't they? Right, great. Pigs next. Simple stuff. One level teaspoonful for... Teaspoonful. Teaspoonful, That's That's is it? <laughs> right. It's a bit big for a teaspoonful, James. What the hell is this stuff, anyway? Uh, barley, things like that. Things oh, that make... Looks like the stuff that my wife gives me for breakfast. Probably is, isn't it? 
Lovely. One teaspoonful, or whatever you call it. What, what do they call these things? Anyway, it's just pig meal. Yeah, no, but I, no, I mean this thing. What's it called? Shovel or what? Scoop. A scoop. Oh, scoop. Oh, very original. <laughs> That one was. Yep, that's fine. Okay, you then let the pigs out. Are you okay? Let them out. Okay, right there. Right, fine. Okay. Are they always as hungry as this? It's called eating like a pig, isn't it? Well, you can notice the concrete of the bowls is all worn down. They've licked away at the concrete in their desperation to get the last bit of meal. Well, they've frightened me to death, I can tell you. Well, it's that one, look at it. It's a bit like my mother-in-law. <laughs> That's in much more your style, Craig. Nice little ones. Oh, yes. They look pretty friendly anyway, uh, James. Well, the point is we want to move these from pen A to pen B. Simple stuff. It's small enough to work by or anything else like that. Oh, it looks pretty easy, I think. Yeah, well, imagine no trouble, right? OK. Come on in, boys. And girls. Come on in. Girls. girls as well, isn't it? No, 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 no. You don't drive them in there. Drive them in there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go on, get them out. What are you doing? That's right. No ghosties in there. Come on. Hey! Hey! Come on, 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 <coughs> Hello, mate. Having troubles? You say that again. Oh, not you, Lenny. I hope at least if I go on the farm, I get away from you. I broke, I broke down outside. <laughs> oh, I'll just come in to uh, pick up some of the Well, you can see the problems I'm having with this lot, anyway. Thank you, I'm just not right. Craig, you're doing it all wrong, man. Hang on, look, look, look. Have a go at that, look. Have a sw sort of swish around with them, you see. And, and what do you mean, swish around? Well, get them. in there, look, and sort of, you know. What, just with the board? Yeah, that's it. And the crack in there. Oh, yeah. Shout out, apple sauce. Go on, apple sauce. Come on, apple sauce. Apple sauce. Apple sauce. <laughs> They're going the other way, Craig. Right, make it. What do you like, Craig? Come on. We just have your actions. Oh, come on. Terrific. What are you talking about all this then? Oh, I just picked it up. We picked it up. Thank you. Enough of that. Have you talked in pig language? You lost them all. Move it move it over so them. That's it. Push the ball. Come on, girls and boys. No, that's it. Girls and boys. Which is which? I thought we were all girls here. They're not. No, the women and girls have got things. Oh, they've got lipstick on them. Don't stand on them. Pray, don't stand on them. Come on, come on. Just run behind it. <laughs> come on. Come on, then. Come on. Come on, then, then. Yeah, all right, I'm going to get If you're so expert, is it? Get, get on the other end of this no, board. Because it's a board. It's only a small All right, you board. want to get your dirt. Come on, Trace babe. Dirt. This way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, I thought Lenny did a wonderful job helping me there with the pigs. But, of course, he's got more uh, of an agricultural shape than I have. He's just about the shape for farmers, isn't he? Rather rotund and fat. Anyway, <laughs> come on, Farmer Windsor, let's have you. <laughs> hey, boy, here, kid! Yoo-hoo! Sit down, sit down. How you doing, partners? The hat. The hat. What, 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 what's the meaning of this? I mean, these young farmers, what's that got to do with Farmers? That? Yeah, young farmers. It's the cowboys, you said? No. <laughs> well, the rustlers, aren't I? No, no. <laughs> this the is the farmers. latest trend from America. This is the thing they're wearing in the discos. I thought every week I told you I'd bring in something that the discos are wearing in the States. Yeah, but these discos for this, these people, they're not... Uh, they're they not go to... They're farmers. Listen, they go to discos. I've got a list in my pocket. It's the other pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a list. Where is it? In the I've top pocket, isn't it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> 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 
I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen. Why? Like Nothing's rock, rehearsed it? here. <laughs> <laughs> they can, you can say that again. They can tell. Oh, they well. can tell. They can tell. <laughs> they can tell. This is about the deliberate mistake. <laughs> we are the deliberate mistake. Listen, they've got discos. The 4th, the 5th, the 10th, the 11th, the 18th, the 20th of June. There's discos. So there's one meeting here. Look, and that's an excuse for a drink. <laughs> what, is it, what does it say? Exa executive... Yeah, exactly. Exa exa committee no, meeting. All right, well, put that away because uh, we don't want to upset them. I happen to know that you really would like to be in the old farmer community because I know through our producer on the grapevine, you know how things get around in the BBC, that you applied for the Dan Archer job. Dan didn't Archer, get it. the Archers. Yes, Dan Archer. Well, didn't you hear the music coming up? Oh, I've, by the way, the music. Nice. The music. What, what have we had the last three weeks? Yeah. When am I going to get the star treatment? That's true. The prima donna, yeah. music, applause. Dan Archer. I Did you like it? Did you like that? it tonight? Robin Hood, Friar Tuck, Little John. <laughs> I, never, I wouldn't get a part on Crossroads, I know my lines. <laughs> That's on the other side, quiet now. Oh, sorry, quiet now. <laughs> Talk, talking of the other side, can I mention my own television no, show? No, none of it's on the other side. It's not. Tomorrow night, it's on London Weekend Television. No, no, that is the other side. Oh, I forgot. Right, no, it's called Lenny side. Windsor at Windsor. Get, I thought you'll get, I just you'll get me it. shot. Hey, you get look me at shot. this, look at this. Look. Do you like that? What is it? <laughs> A battery in. <laughs> what is it? Ever ready? Is it? Look here. <laughs> you bore there. My big end's gone. <laughs> watch, watch my head. I nod when I've done a gag. <laughs> yes, that's right. They've been waiting for the last uh, five minutes. <laughs> bitter, bitter. Now, now look, um, this this business of farming and all the rest of it. These people, Terrific. magnificently dressed. Look at this outfit you've got on. Do you think this is what the gentleman farmer of the day wears? Well, it? I doubt it very much. But it's the producer that said wear something a bit outrageous. I mean, look at the state of some of these trends. Well, <laughs> I know some one or two classy ones at the top, and there's uh, all young farmers. Look at it. Look, he must be fifty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> he must be older than you. You hang on. I know what you're trying to. You told look me... At, look at him at the end, look. He's about seven. <laughs> All right, what about these he's impersonations? He's to be a at mother care. <laughs> <laughs> now, these impersonations you were telling me about, I gather you're pretty good on the old impersonations. Oh, tremendous. How about a few farmyard ones, then? You've got a few here. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. I was walking through the woods, and I saw... The, and I heard... <laughs> and saw the last dying <laughs> hippo rhino horsefly. <laughs> I forgot to nod. <laughs> then I saw the swallow. <laughs> I heard the duck. <laughs> then I saw Princess Anne's hair lip dog. Mark, Mark. <laughs> and I heard the local village cow. Hello, sailor. Well, I think we so know. Quite enough. Quite bringing enough. a few truths on to you, Quite, isn't that? Yeah. <laughs> Quite enough of those Sorry impersonations. Sorry I, I was a sailor for a time, if you don't mind. Enough Can of I those wave jokes. to Jersey? No, that's a, no. Jersey. Go Jersey. On. Let Jersey. me wave to Jersey. Where's Wait. Jersey? Why Jersey? What do you mean? Jersey, Jersey, Jersey cows? I know I was there last year. I met all the Jersey cows. <laughs> Hello, Jersey. <laughs> right, that, that'll do. Enough of the muck spreading. Enough okay. of the muck spreading. Okay. Because it's time now for another song from the cow shed cleaners. Oh, Come on, gentlemen. <laughs> The spring is nigh upon us, us would go with horse and plough. Take me back to the fields and there we'd labour, horse and man with sweaty brow. Take me back. It were a sight for sore eyes, seagulls following nearby. Miss those days called bugger eye. Take me back. Take me back, oh take me back. Two days of yesteryear, take me back. And when the frost had done its job, the soil were harrowed till her fine. Take me back. And then the time for sowing came, see the ground in ice straight lines. Take me back. To give the corn a chance to grow, a sinews a scarecrow frightens off they sow and sow. Take me back. Take me back, oh, take me back. To the days of yesteryear, take me back. Tuesday rain or shine, we go to market in the town. Take me back. Where cauliflowers cost a tanner, bang of spuds cost half a crown. Take me back. Besides the girls that I have kissed, there's one thing that I really miss. For five of you to get quite drunk. Take me back. Take me back, 
Oh, take me back to the days of yesteryear. Take me back. Come summer end and harvest time, we sharpen sickles, off we go. Take me back. <laughs> To cut and bundle up the corn and neatly stack the sheaves in rows. <laughs> and then the thresher would begin till all were safely gathered in. A loader fun to knacker in. <laughs> take me back, oh, take me back. Two days of yesteryear, take me back. Take me back, oh, take me back. Two days of yesteryear, take me back, take me back. Come on, let's get it up. Give us a hand, man. Get it up. Oh, that's it. And that's it for this week. Hope you can join us next week for the last programme in the series. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>